Hello together and welcome to our technical session today once more. I want to make a short demonstration about the code management system because when we want to create a new project, a new solution, we have to think about how to organize our code in a system that follow certain principles and in that case I would like to use Azure DevOps to manage our code in a branch architecture that I will show you now. Let us give a look to Azure DevOps to see how to create a project and manage it in Azure. Okay, now when I want to open Azure DevOps, you only need to enter here on the top dev.azure.com to open the Azure platform. If you don't have a trial account, you can then create one. I think it is free until five users. Then in the Azure DevOps platform here, you will see that you can create an organization. I have already shown. Then you can select the organization where you want to create your project and then you can create a new project if i create a new project and call this here training management i have to decide if i want to have a public repository or a private repository let us go for a private repository and on the advance i would like to select git you can also choose here to use team foundation but git is a decentralized uh, code repository platform it is modern and it follow the agile process in this more used worldwide actually so i will i can also select the working process if i want to use a scrum i will select here scrum to create my project so if you hit on create then a project will be created here inside of azure DevOps. you have here an overview to see where is actually your project which tasks are already done and uh, you have on this part here board you can see how uh, you can create a new epic a new uh, feature you can create a task assign it you can generate your product backlog and create the different sprint and assign the task to the different sprint but our that is not the main focus of our meeting today Today I want to show you how to manage your code in the repository for the code management. You have this block here, it's called repo. When I click here on repo, you see that we have already a repository for our code. Here on the repository, I want to keep things simple, so I will initiate my repository by clicking here on the button here on initiate so that we can create a file inside of our main branch and generate the main branch with only one file if i hit here on initiate then you see that you have the master branch that is created and on the file we have only one file and the file is here this readme file yes i don't want to make a change here but what i want to do is i want to go here on repo once more and clone this branch i mean if you click here on clone then you will see that we can copy now the url of our branch here <clears throat> the URL that I copy, I have to open it. I have to open Visual Studio. In Visual Studio, now here I can go to this connection link, and I want to create first a connection. Let us go to connect to a project, and if I click on connect to a project, my Azure DevOps will open here, and I can select the. the product uh, the, the the project here inside of my azure devop my project was called training management now if i select here training management as project and say clone then a clone of this project will be done here inside of my um of on my local uh, machine here now in this I, let me check once more if you can get a look on the connections here and I see that even if I have many repository existing on my uh, device I am actually connected to this one because you can change the repository you are connected to so here I go back once more and select 
the training management and I want to connect to this repository exactly then now I open here on the home and see the different branches that we have in this selected repository which I still see here product management but that is not the repository I want to open I'm here I have to be here on training management so I double click training management now I'm on training management you see it here now if I go to branches on the branches I have only the master branch that is actually available and on this master branch I can now create a broad solution yeah. okay when I'm here in Visual Studio you can see that we have now the report of the folder for our training management and inside of this folder now I can create a project I have to go here to file create new project and give a name to the and select the form I want to make a simple uh, Windows form here and I want to call this one uh, training management training manage, management platform and for this solution I have to select the right repository because my repository name here is training management the local repository I have then I have to select here it is on the C on the repository and I have to select the right repository here I want to save my code that is the repository where I want to put my project and go to create and now the solution my solution will be created inside of this repository under the main branch because we are working actually on the main branch if I then here give a look then you see that we have some changes here if I can I can save this code and say here create create the project and I can save and push directly to the master branch now it is saved to the locally on my device and then push to the master branch now if I open if I open again our code management and I refresh the master branch you see that the code that I have created in Visual Studio is now available here if I go to branch you see that we have a new commit and if I click on this commit you can see the changes that came with this commit and you can see it every single line of your commits here now working with on the main branch is not the on the master branch is not a good strategy we have to have a good branch uh, strategy so what I recommend is to create now here a dev branch you can call this dev branch the dev branch based on the master branch and I hit on create now we have a developer branch here and the code all the code of the master branch are now on the developer branch so you see that the commit of the master branch is the same here like on the developer branch and we also normally don't work directly on the developer branch there are many uh, git repository strategies so i recommend to create here uh, the feature branches we can call it here like feature branch one and this feature branch will now take the code from the developer branch if i hit on create then we have here the feature branch that has also the same code status like the master branch and developer branch and i can create once more uh, the feature branch too and uh, the feature branch too should also take the code from the developer branch yes now we have the different strategy here and i can now decide to work if I want to work on feature branch or on master branch then I have to go back to my Visual Studio and in my Visual Studio I have to open the branches here open the synchronization and make a pool to hold the changes that are online on my local device and if I go to branch one more and open here the remote branch you see that all the branches that you have created now in the, Git, uh, in the Azure DevOps are already here now the ma we are working actively on the master branch that is the reason why it is bold if i select your feature branch now the feature branch is also on my local and i can take also the the feature two branches that means normally we are working on the feature branches on the feature branch one i can add a button 
to my phone if I select here on button if I want to add a button and I can select here and add here the button one on feature branch one as yes, if I add then you can see if I can click on save and hit F5 to build the solution okay the solution is there I can close here and uh, you see that on button one on the feature one I add button one now I can save the change to the I can commit these changes on the feature one to commit the change I have to go to our master branch here and um, go to the part and go to changes and save the change of feature one and say here create button one if I hit here on commit and push yes save and push and then the changes of the feature branch one is now save on our master branch on the release when i hear open now and refresh you realize that there is a change on feature branch one the feature branch one is now different from feature branch two now i can decide to merge the feature branch one with this feature branch two or to create a pull request if i create the pull request like i create now a pull request from feature branch two to from feature branch one to feature branch to the developer branch then the button one will be generated now on the developer branch and i can say here that we need an approver the approver i in this case i said it myself we can make it better hit on create and now a pull request is generated someone has to approve it and also the same approver now i have approved and i can complete if i complete it now and they complete the merge mean the feature branch one is now merged completely in the developer branch and feature branch one is no more there yes and now we have the changes on feature branch one and i can now merge the changes from the feature branch from the developer branch to the master branch okay but today I only want to show you that uh, we can generate our code, manage the different branches here. Normally when I have my changes on the master branch, then based on the master branch, I can create a release branch like release 1.0 based on the master branch. And this release branch will be then tested. And for the test, I can create a test branch based on this release branch, then create here the test branch, test 1.0 based on the release branch and uh, when the test is successful then I can deliver we can deliver the release branch to the customers and if there is a bug fix on the release on a specific release branch then we can create a hotfix branch like uh, the hotfix for the branch 1.0 and so that the developer can fix the code that are actually only on the release branch in the hotfix 1.0 and after a month or two weeks if we are ready for the release branch 2.0 then we have only to create a new release branch 2.0 based on the master branch and then for the release branch 2.0 we can again have a test branch we can have a hotfix branch and so our life cycle the, of the project will be managed here and we can have a good overview on what are all the code in a specific branch we can have the history of all the changes here we can give a look on every single change in our code management system okay i hope it was helpful today and uh, if you have more questions concerning code management based on different code management tools like team foundation server you have github that's also really good you have gitlab you if you want to have your own server to manage your code 
then you can install your own Chim Foundation server infrastructure. If you don't have local server, you can we can deploy your Chim Foundation server infrastructure directly in the directly in Azure, or you can have a GitLab in Azure. We can create a specific server where you deploy a open source version of GitLab inside of Azure to manage your code. Be in the next version of our tutorial, I can make a demonstration on how to build a pipeline so that uh, all every single branch can be built automatically and generate your, re your release that you can so that you can test this. Okay, best things.